right, sleepwalk. Glad to be back. Haven't done a video in a while. I love this song. It's the first song I learned on lap steel, and I'm going to show you how it goes. I thought that was an okay version. Not bad. So it's in C sharp major. I'm tuned to open E like usual. E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. Same tuning as always, open E, no tricks. So starting here with the C sharp, it's kind of a doo-wop in the intro. So it's the root and then it's the um, minor six chord and then it's the four and the five. So C sharp and then um, A sharp minor and then F sharp and G sharp. So we go ninth fret, sixth fret minor chord, second fret major chord, fourth fret major chord. So you notice with this, when I get to that second chord, I, I mute my major third string because I don't want a major chord here. I want a minor chord. So I go. So now you are set up for the main lick probably the hardest part of the song, the part that I mess up the most. You're doing a, um, you're doing a harmonic here at the fourth fret. What's nice is you're kind of set up on that chord and I kind of recommend when you play this song to keep your fretting hand around there because you're gonna come to this part and you're gonna need to hit it. And you're gonna need to hit it kind of quick. So if you're playing kind of down here, you've got to get this hand at a spot and this hand at a spot with no frets to really help you. So the best thing to do coming in out of that four or five So it's fourth fret, sixth fret, thirteenth fret, eighth fret. What I love about this song is that there's a little bit of a diminished feel to it. It's got this like little kind of spooky uh, surf thing that a lot of music in the early 60s had, which is so cool. So, so if I landed on the tonic, it would sound funny. It like resolves too much. So you get that fret on the, you get that note on the eight, on the eighth uh, position here instead. It's kind of cool. So that's the lick. And the way that it really comes across cool is you've got to hit that harmonic. So what I do is I've got the bar on the fourth fret. I've got my fingertip on the fourth, 12 frets up. I'm sorry. I've got my fingertip here on the 16th fret to make 12 frets apart. So I've got a natural harmonic. And then what I'm doing is I'm plucking it with my middle finger behind me here. So I go. So sometimes you can get that loud. Sometimes it's not so loud. There's a good one. Now we're into the part. Ninth fret. And now you're doing two strings at the seventh. to get to the fourth on both and hit that riff again we start over we do it again it's an a a b form this is kind of quick but i'm just running down the c sharp major It's just these key muting is kind of key in this and I come back so I just finished the form on the second time so now I do a little turnaround I go to that minor chord so a little root fifth here I'm hitting these two strings Now the bass will lead in 
and we go to the bridge. So I start off, I hit that root on C sharp, and then I'm going up to this note right here. It's a B flat. So that's cool. So you come up to the B flat, you do this little lick where you go E flat to F to E flat to C sharp. And then what's kind of cool is you, you start with the, you do the B flat the first time, next time you do the A, next time you do the A flat, you're kind of doing this little chromatic thing. And you do it again. Now here's a cool little diminished lick that you do as the turnaround. You go to the seventh fret with these two strings to the fourth fret. Cool Pat Martino thing I read about one time. He talked about how if you play a lick and you move it up a minor third, three frets, you have this diminished thing going on. Diminished licks, diminished chords, they repeat every three frets. Augmented chords repeat every four frets. So if you're looking for movement in a diminished space, you've got three frets that you can go. So that's what's kind of happening with this turnaround. I go seventh to fourth. I'm in the same situation because I'm doing the same two notes. I move it down three frets. I'm still in that cool diminished area. Try it sometime. Do a guitar lick, move it up three frets, move it up three more frets, keep going. You're doing a cool diminished lick. So, so anyway, back to the form. We just finish the bridge, we go, we take it home with one more uh, chorus. A little slower here. And then we end with a little chromatic lick right here. And we do the riff one more time. And now we end one, five, one. So that's how I play Sleepwalk. Um, it's all based around that C sharp major scale with some fun stuff going on. Once you memorize those forms, it's not too bad. Uh, let me know what you think.